Is it possible to toggle between two different brushes using a shortcut? That's coming up next. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Aaron Rutten, and it is my mission to help artists like you enjoy digital art and learn some new skills along the way. That's why today I'm gonna be answering a question from one of my viewers. The question is, blending brushes seem to be defined as just brushes, so the B shortcut jumps back to either a brush or a blender. Do you know if there's some way to mark blenders as their own separate type that isn't a normal brush? I would really like to use shortcuts to jump between my current brush, blender, and eraser. So in this specific example, we're discussing what to do in Corel Painter, but I'll be discussing some other digital art apps a little bit later in this video. Currently, there is not a way for Corel Painter users to switch between two brushes using a keyboard shortcut. However, if your pen has an eraser on one end, then you can take your pen and you can click on a blender. So I'm gonna click on the Diffuse Blur Blender here in Corel Painter using the eraser end of my pen. And I'm going to use this to blend, as you can see here. Now if I flip the pen over, and I'm using the drawing end, and I start drawing, now I'm getting the smooth scratch board because that's what I clicked on with this end of the pen. So if you're using a Wacom tablet like this, then each end of the pen can be a different brush. Now it gets even better than that because if you have more than one Wacom pen, assuming that your tablet supports this, the Cintiq does and many of the professional Wacom models do, then I can use more than one pen with my tablet. This is the Wacom Art Pen and this pen senses rotation. But I can use it to select, let's say, this chalk brush here. And here I'm painting with this chalk. And let's go ahead and flip it over and let's select this glazing brush here, which looks like this. And so now, going between these two pens, I can draw with this line art, I can draw with the chalk, and I can flip it over and I can use this glazing brush. I could flip this one over and I could blend the whole thing. And in theory, if I wanted to, I could have lots of these Wacom pens and I'd never have to click on any of these brushes over here in the palettes. But ultimately, you have to decide what's faster for you, clicking over here on an icon or flipping your pen over. So these tricks work in Corel Painter, but do they work in other art applications? How about Krita? So here in Krita, I have my Wacom art pen. I have the drawing end here, and I'm going to use that to select the digital airbrush. And I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to use this end to select the fractured blender. So now I can flip my pen over, and I can paint flip my pen over, and I can blend. Very cool. So I don't know what the trick is for Krita, but it seems to work sometimes, and then sometimes it doesn't. So this pen works, but its settings are not independent from this pen as they are in Corel Painter. Let's try it in Photoshop now. I'm gonna select a brush, I'm going to paint, I'm going to flip my pen over, and if I wanted to, I could erase, but I can try using that eraser to click on something else, let's say the mixer brush here, and it's still erasing. Let's try maybe the smudge. Nope, still erasing. Let's try just a regular brush tool and a different brush. Nope, still erasing. So the eraser can erase in Photoshop, but I don't think it can be assigned to anything else. Now I've tested these tricks in some other popular art apps such as Clip Studio Paint and Art Rage and pretty much everything I've tried does not allow you to take advantage of two different pens or to flip your pen over and select anything other than the eraser with the eraser end. There is kind of one exception and that is Rebel. In Rebel, I can add paint like so, and then I can just use my finger as a blender and I can actually just blend this paint around like this. It's really cool. So paint and blend. And if I flip my pen over, and I select something else, let's say this pastel, and I draw with the pastel, you can see I get pastel, but if I flip my pen back over again, still getting pastel. So I can toggle my eraser to be a brush, but it's gonna be the same brush on either end. And then of course I could select the eraser and I can erase, but I don't have nearly as much control in Rebel or any of these other art applications as I do in Corel Painter for selecting multiple brushes with multiple pens and using the erasers to blend or do anything other than erasing. So there you go, those are some tricks you can use to toggle between different brushes using your pen. Again, I can use the eraser end to select this blender here. I can blend, flip my pen back over, and I can draw, and I can blend, 
And I can even take this other pen here and I can select something completely different like this brush, flip that over, select this blender here and blend with that. Go back to painting again, back to blending. If I want that ink brush, then I can go in here and I can outline all that stuff and I can blend it with this brush. If you enjoyed this video, take a quick second to click the like button. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and enable notifications through the bell icon so you don't miss a single video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.